Okay, now that we got our hoses installed, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and reassemble all our air cleaner stuff back on. So everything will just fit right back on normal, which is really nice. That's, that's what's nice about the adapter style stuff. We'll go ahead and install that on there. And get our wing nut back on. And that way it's all, you know, pretty much everything's OEM, you know, it makes it nice like that. And now that we got that, earlier you noticed we had did cut this. And we had to cut this side over here. And that's because the hose is in the way here. And again, all of a sudden your choke is, or your governor, I'm sorry. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set this back down. Now, if we can bring back over on this side, you'll notice... You'll see how this is moved. This originally was set up here. Now that we've installed the adapter, we're going back. So it's going to be a little further back than what it was on. But as long as you clear, um, that's fine there. And then we'll go ahead and reinsert the original studs that were with it. Go ahead and get that going. You see everything lines up all good. That's It makes it really nice. So I'll go ahead and put this back in. Okay, what well, we got? Make sure it's nice and tight, sealed down, there you go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the generator over a little bit. Now that we got all that reinstalled, everything's intact here now. So we've got our new extensions in here, all our new gaskets. We've got our adapter in there. We've remodified uh, for the winter and summer run. Um, now that we've got our hoses over here, now our step is what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the secondary regulator. Um, most of them are always mounted to the frame, uh, it, no matter what generator it is. So, a lot of people, what they'll do, some of them, you can mount it up here, okay, but on this particular unit, the gas tank kind of dumps behind the frame, you can't drill in it, 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 it doesn't make sense there, you know, to do that. So what we do on this one here is we found the best way is to position it right here, okay? That way we can run our T down, we've got our access for our fuel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mark out this spot to go ahead and drill for these two holes to mount. And then we supply that in the kit also because obviously these are a little bit longer here. So we'll do that right now. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is just measure out the best thing to do is either a tape measure or whatever. Just center your your bolts. And most of these are 1 and 7 eighths on it, on center on these particular ones. So we'll go ahead and mark this down here. And then what I'll do is we've already kind of looked. You know, we want to stay away from the weld here. We want to make sure we're flat in there. We make sure we got some distance in here. So we'll take our marker. <clears throat> just go ahead, set it up on there. We'll get our center. Go ahead and mark that. Kind of just eyeball down the cross frame, you know, on the tubing there. Just to give us a little idea of where we're going to go. Now it's obviously it's easier to make a nice little punch in there. So what we'll do, <clears throat> we'll take a punch mark. You know, and on these here, if you get off a little bit, you're not going to hurt much. You know, just get you a little mark on there just to set it. Take your little bit on it. That way your drill bit doesn't wander. Now if you don't have any of that, you know, the drill bit will wander, but you can still do it, so. Let's go ahead and make our marks here. Get our holes. And careful, the tubing's thin. This isn't, this isn't solid. This is a thin tube. So when you break through that first half, you don't want to slam down on it. We'll go ahead and drill this. Okay. Here. Okay, we got our first hole. Now we're going to go for our second one. Okay, go ahead and get that one out. And again, make sure you don't press it too much. 
Okay. Take this side of the way. clear through each one of them so we'll set that to the side and now obviously we're going to have a little bit of burrs in here so we'll remove them so now what we'll do is we'll remove the bolts that were on here out we'll just throw them in our little bucket here, so. Okay, now what we'll do is, I don't install, if you put this in the vise, you got a chance of cracking it, so, you know, most places, you know, if you're, if you're a manufacturer, you got the tooling to hold it, but here we don't. Vices will sometimes snar that up, so, let's get this out of our way now, and I'll get the bolts for that to mount it. And again, them are supplied with the kit, so, let me get my little rag here. Okay, so we'll just kind of dust this off. There's not many burrs on it, so we'll think we're fine there. So what I'll do is I'll just put me a little washer up top, start that, bring her through the frame. Okay, stick it up through there. I always like to stick one on this side. Get started. Okay, just leave her loose. Do the same with this one here. Okay, and then just before you put it all the way through, just stick your lock, your flat washer on that side. Okay, now we got that one up. Install that one. Okay. Now we do supply the nuts and the lock washers in case you do have to go through your framing on some units. So in this case we don't, we're not going to use them. So let's just we'll bring these up, hand tighten them. Okay. Now we'll give them a nice little snug down. And again, remember. This is aluminum.